What are you hearing about the rumor of uh, my next guest, John Lynch, trading one, if not both, of his first-round picks, and so, and and who would be the ones moving up? What are you What are you hearing about the big moves that could be made on Thursday night out of the top ten? Yeah, I mean, the, the, if you look at the the way the Niners draft picks sort of set up, um, they got the two first rounders. They don't have a two. They traded that for D Ford, and they don't have a three or four. Those went to Denver in the Emmanuel Sanders deal, and so they'd like to fill in that gap that they have. I think they'd rather trade 31 than 13, but I think they're open to both. And so, you know, I I think really sort of this is an organizational thing, and you know that organization, Rich. They, everything they do very very well thought out and planned um and you know I, this is all sort of part of this plan that they put in place when they traded to forrest buckner who's one of their best players and they wanted to build up some draft capital um they knew they weren't going to be able to keep both buckner and armstead and so they chose to keep the guy who cost a little bit less traded the guy who had a little more trade value uh, that allowed them to keep jimmy ward their safety also and now they're resetting Sort of their financials because they know with some of the guys they have to pay mm. they may get a little top heavy over the next couple of years so they're going to need to have young talent on the roster so they're going to try and accumulate some picks i would say a couple things to watch with them like henry ruggs would be one name to watch uh, who you know i've heard they like a lot why not and then the left tackle the left tackle position would be another joe staley I, they're expecting him back, but they're eventually going to need to replace him. So I'd watch that position with them as well. And as far as other teams that are going to move, Detroit, of course, is one that could move down. I would I would put the Raiders into that group, too, as a team that's maybe looking to move down and fill that second-round hole. Um, three teams looking to move up, Atlanta, Tampa, and Denver. And keep an eye on the Jacksonville Jaguars at nine. They may not only move down, they may, may, may wind up moving some assets out to 2021. I've heard some teams around the league sort of refer to them as, quote, unquote, the Trevor Lawrence team that may be doing now what Miami was doing last year, try and set themselves up to get their quarterback in 2021. Wow. Okay. So um, that means then why would they hold on to Ngakwe? Certainly when Ngakwe and, and uh, Tony Khan are just making this even uglier <laughs> uh, on, on Twitter. What's going yeah. on, right? I mean, and that would make sense about getting getting Fournette out, just like cleaning it all out, and that would also mean right. that they would not that they would not um, go after Cam or Jameis or uh, if Andy Dalton does become expendable in the next forty eight hours with the drafting of Burrow, go in that direction, right? Right, and I and I think you know you could get creative with it. One thing I I put in my column last night that I thought I, somebody just sort of floated this to me, and it would take a lot of doing because. You have to get Yannick signed and everything else. But, I mean, how about this? If you can't get a first-round pick for Yannick, what if Yannick is part of a trade down, right? So say, and I'm just going to throw this one out there, say Tampa or Denver want to tackle, okay? So and maybe you package Yannick with the ninth pick. You trade him for whatever it is, 14 or 15, right? And then you get the next year. And then you've added a one to kind of your, your, your war chest for 2021. I could see them doing some creative things there. Again, like the Dolphins did last year where you know, they sort of recognized they put themselves in this position from a cap standpoint where it's, really, it's been hard for them to do anything in 2020. And so maybe 2020 becomes their sort of clear the books year and they set themselves up for 2021 where maybe they're drafting high enough to get the quarterback of the future, and they've got a lot of other picks to put talent around them. Oh, this stuff. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.